Okay, so let's get started. And um, this time, I like to talk a little bit on how to get files uh, from a free asset library called Sketchfab. Uh, you can just type sketchfab.com. You can find a lot of free uh, asset. Uh, just make sure number one, you want to set up an account so you can log in, and then in Explorer, you can go to downloadable. And there you can search name, you can find objects. Um, you should be able to already see there's a tons, tons of free stuff online. Uh, you can download. If you do see there's a logo here in the right up corner, say download 3D model, you are able to do it. Some of them you have to pay. So if you see a dollar sign, this is something you have to buy. Uh, but usually they do provide multiple versions. Uh, for example, I really like this bike, which I have to buy. But they also have this free version, um, which I can download. Right? So I would recommend any model you want to just simply click and check out some of the details. Uh, some model come in with a super large polygon number. Uh, for example, this is the entire, you know, Chinese building. Uh, if you if you check the uh, details, uh, you can sort of see it has 1.1 million triangles. It's pretty large. For VR, maybe we'll get some trouble to run this. Has a number of vertices. Uh, more information usually give you what type of file is available for you to download. Uh, in general, FBX is very popular. Also, Unreal will also support GLTF, GLB, um, USD. This is all the popular file format uh, Unreal support. In fact, uh, if you go to Unreal, if I choose add, right, import to Unreal uh, into the game, you can see here the large number of uh, files it support. You can definitely see FBX uh, is one of them, which include animation uh, in FBX. You can also do the, uh, you know, uh, I think the GL, uh, GLTF or GLB. Uh, this is also being supported by Unreal. So it's pretty cool. Uh, you can also get things like a 3DS OBJ. Uh, this is all supported. STL uh, by Unreal. Okay. So check this super long list. Okay. So now, uh, so let's go back to uh, Sketchfab. Right. Then we're going to decide which one we want to uh, download. Um, I'm not downloading this whole building. I, I still like the bike. So I will go ahead and click this bike. You can see this bike provide, uh, it's a pretty nice, you know, fully detailed. Uh, I really like it. I think it has some really nice detail here. Okay. Um, yeah, I kind of got it. You can see it has 223K uh, for polygon uh, triangles, so it's not too bad. Uh, model information it has a blender version, but also you have this GLTF, GLB. I think that's good. So let's go ahead and download them. Um, when I choose download, right, <coughs> there are a couple of options. Um, in general, I want to get a smaller file because I'm not running this as a you know high poly, uh, high resolution. So smaller the better. I think this GLB 13 megabits would be fine. So click download, and I've got a file, okay, GLB file. Once I download the file, um, here in my download folder, I can sort of see it. If I double click, um, if you are using the Windows, it has a default 3D viewer. You can open the file. Uh, it's a pretty nice bike. If I check the details, <clears throat> here just want to show you a little bit uh, things about, you know, triangle number 323K is not too bad. You do notice there is a material, there is a 17 materials. Uh, so it's a large collection of materials. It has uh, 68 draw calls. Uh, this is interesting, uh, depends. Sometimes the model come in with many separate parts, such as gears, wheels, handles, right? So when you bring that into Unreal, it could break apart into individual files. Or this could be a single file. Right, single mesh or individual mesh. So it depends on your needs. 
if in the VR, I'm, I know in the future I'm going to using some, you know, maybe some UI to break apart this bike into pieces. In that case, I can bring in the model as individual piece. Or if you are not really care about these individual mechanical, you know, details, you can bring in as a single mesh. So you do have the options. I want to show you is, you know, uh, this is something you want to be cautious. All right, so bring this into Unreal. The best way to do that is just drag and drop. But before that, I want to create a new folder. I call this folder bike. You know, just keep things organized. Under the bike, I'm going to drag uh, this from download folder and drop. Right? This is the uh, this is the default file. All right, once I drag the file in, uh, it has a bunch of options. You can definitely read this through by yourself. Uh, the most important one is actually this guy. Combine static mesh or not, right? As I mentioned, if you do not check, this is the default. The things will be bring in as individual pieces. So let's try that, import. Right, you see a bunch of materials, bunch of textures. However, we also see these meshes, right? This mesh is all independent from each other. Right. See if I double click, you see this is part of engine. Uh, yeah, so it could be useful. Uh, depends on what you want to do in the future. Maybe you want to create a VR for people to drag the bike apart. So if that's the case, you do want to keep them individual. Uh, there are many, many pieces here. But in my case, uh, I will actually delete this. I want to keep this bike as a single mesh. So I delete. Yep. Uh, so I will bring drag this one more time. Uh, where is the download folder? So here's the download folder. I will drag it in one more time. Okay. And this time I will check this option. <clears throat> Right, combine static meshes. So that means all the pieces will be a single mesh. Yeah. So see all the materials still came in as independent, but you have this single mesh, that's their back. Double click, that's the entire back. Right. And you do have these individual materials you can customize. Right. That's pretty cool. So if I like it, I will go ahead and save all. So let's save all the individual files. Uh, so this is how the hierarchy in Unreal works. Is this bag is a single mesh, is associated with multiple shaders, and each shader has connection to a texture uh, or multiple textures. Save it. To approve that, I can right click, <coughs> choose the, um, I think I can do the reference view, so you know that's how this mesh is associated with multiple shaders, and some shader has association with textures. Okay. So <clears throat> to use it, I can just simply drag and drop. So the bike is in. That looks pretty cool. Right? You have this bike play. <clears throat> yeah, maybe in the future we should program she is able to ride the bike. Uh, that'd be really nice. Okay, so you have the bike. Um, I do recommend, like, since this is already in as a uh, asset, you can definitely use it multiple times. It doesn't really increase the rendering time because they are just reference to each other. Uh, so you can use as many times as you want. So these are all the bikes. That's it. Um, yeah, because I have this bike in my level now. So in the future, if I want to, you know, this show up in my Unreal, you know, UHP Mega project, put to GitHub, I can simply right click, right, and then I can <coughs> migrate this into my UHP Mega, and then it will see, hey, now it's including all the bike information. Um, because I did this already, um, so I think I can just simply uncheck all other folders uh, since 
I don't have to re-export the Mega Scan, right? Which is the from Quixel Bridge. The only thing I need to export is everything in my current folder because I have the bike as a subfolder under my 18 Tom folder, right? So this is actually pretty handy. You can just deselect everything else except this folder. Then you click OK. Then you point to the UHP Meta content, select folder. Ask you if you want to overwrite the original level, right? Yes. Now the bag is there. And if I want to double click, I can actually prove because yeah, I think it's good to show you the whole flow. So now <clears throat> if I run GitHub, right? And this one should include all the bikes uh, from the sketch fab. Let's open it. And eating Tom, right? I think this is the one. Yeah, you see all the bikes in. That's pretty cool. And then I can, you know, push it into the uh, cloud. So here I will see I did a bike. Right, so this is all the new files, the going one. I probably don't need this to. Uh, I need to check this because the level has been changed. But I don't need to check the default editor. I don't need to change the starter lobby, right? So just be cautious. Everything you have done, uh, you want to make sure to double check the files. The only upload files belongs to you. So in this case, it's all under the folder 18 Tom. Commit, and I push. Yeah, I think that's the whole process, um, how you bring the new content from Sketchfab into our project, then push to the GitHub. Uh, now you've finished the new fetch in the history. You can see these are the bunch of new things I have done over the past few hours. Right? I had a pink chair, I had a new sculpture, I had a bag. Cool, I hope this will be useful for you to really think about the uh, values uh, to adding new content, new asset into your project. Also think about you know what exactly you can do with Unreal. Uh, there is unlimited possibilities. You can add uh, you know training ground. You can add gaming stuff, uh, food, restaurant, uh, animals, dragons, lots of stuff. Okay, all right. That's the end of this tutorial.